So Logan Paul, world famous YouTuber, boxer, and social media influencer, mocks Jesus and instantly regrets it. Check this out. What One that saying? really hurt me is you told me I need a therapist because I believe in Jesus. No, I won't hurt me. No, I didn't. I said you need a therapist because Jesus isn't quite doing it for you, no, you which didn't. is no, which you is true. No, Jesus isn't doing it for you. And I now Logan made these remarks as you've seen in this video to his best friend George, who is a professed Christian, and George is fairly a new Christian. Now, Logan Paul may believe in the idea of God. He may have certain beliefs, but he has never professed Christianity or belief in Jesus Christ, clearly anyway. In fact, the statements that he makes and the way that he treats his friend because of his Christianity leads me to believe there is doubt in the God of the Bible. But let me tell you something. After his world was turned upside down in the matter of days, I think it's safe to say he's starting to reconsider his beliefs. Check it out. I made some, I made some pretty, uh, pretty out of line comments to George about George's beliefs. The following three weeks have been the hardest period of my life. Buddy, God kicked me in the as hard as he could there <laughs> yeah so the lord divinely intervened and began to cause things to go horribly wrong back to back to back in his life started off in uh in qatar i got violent food poison camera taken away at the airport get to my hotel you know think it's, it's just little things here and there things are showing up we misscheduled next day got alcohol poisoning our luggage was delayed so we, we had no clothes to get to our events qatar was the first time i felt the wrath of god now let me tell you what i find interesting or a few things that i find interesting about this situation usually when the God of the Bible is mocked, usually when Jesus is mocked on the internet, on movies, on television, there's not much of a response at all. You know, it's kind of like that's brushed under the rug. But with this situation, it's like the Lord, he intervened and he turned the hearts of men and he caused people to begin to be outraged and to be very dissatisfied with Logan's remarks towards his friend. People begin to turn their back on Logan. People begin to speak out. And then you talk about him being poisoned by the food, being poisoned with the drinks, losing his camera, all the misfortunes that were taking place while he was on this trip. It's like the Lord intervened and the Lord's hand moved supernaturally. The, the Zilla stuff dropped. I had some shit happen in Denmark when I, when I was supposed to meet my girlfriend's parents. I mean, you got in a scuffle. <laughs> Ironically, I defamed Jesus and God and I felt his wrath. <laughs> now what's even more interesting is that right before this happened, his best friend George, who he mocked, actually made a prayer to God right after God spoke to George and George began to pray for his friend. It's like the Lord began to move and he began to take action in Logan's life. The night before it happened, bro, and I literally say a prayer to God and I go, man, like, know you love him. And I know this opportunity between two best friends could open a lot of people's eyes to who God is. So I sat there and I go, God, I go, what do you want from me, bro? And I swear I have two witnesses. God says, be quiet and love. She goes, hey, Adam is blowing up your phone. He goes, bro, I got to tell you something. He goes, whatever you're doing, Jesus told me to tell you that he loves you and yes. And I'm like, what? He goes, I have no idea what's going on. I'm in the shower because that's why he was wet. He goes, I'm praying about my family, my friend. He goes, three times in my prayer, God interrupted me. He goes, go tell George, whatever he feels in his heart is right. Now, some people might think that that's strange or, or weird, right? But it's not strange that the Lord would confirm his words to George by sending people to confirm his word and to show George, yes, this is me talking to you. In fact, the Bible says the Lord does nothing without confirming it by two or three witnesses. The Lord will always confirm his word. Now, here's the thing. Some people may think that the Lord did this just to avenge George or prove that George was right in the situation. Yes, the Bible says that the Lord is going to take vengeance. It says that vengeance is the Lord's. And he says that he will justify his children. But honestly, I believe that the Lord did this to open Logan Paul's eyes to the reality of his existence. Why else would the Lord plant a best friend in his life that will convert to Christianity. Why else would the Lord go this far to make this type of impact and impression on Logan Paul's life if it wasn't to reveal the reality of his existence to Logan Paul and not just the reality of God, but the God of the Bible. And I feel it. I feel it, George. I, f I feel God's presence in my life and my God might not be the same as yours. Maybe it is. 
I don't fucking know. And then it was confirmed that it was the God of the Bible because George was praying to his God, which is Jesus Christ, when this broke out in Logan's life. So it's like the Lord is bringing all these different confirmations to show Logan Paul, hey, hey there, I exist. And he's doing it because he is trying to draw and pull Logan into the truth and into salvation. He cares about his soul and he wants to save his soul. That's what the Lord is all about, okay? The Lord doesn't do things just to justify us. The Lord doesn't do things just to avenge us. The Lord is all about saving souls. And that's why he had George's heart match up with his true desire. All right, we have to speak from love. Everything is love and God's love is completely selfless. It is to lay his life down so that somebody else can be saved. So let's keep Logan Logan Paul in prayer. I pray for him. I pray that the Lord will continue to work on his heart to use this as such an impression and a stamp in his life to show Logan, I am real. The God that your best friend George serves is the true God. I am the one, one and only living God. And I pray that this would pull Logan into the truth of the Bible and into, into the salvation that Jesus Christ has made available to us. Amen. I'm sorry you're going through what you're going through. But God loves you and he is still with you regardless of the situation that you put yourself in. Regardless in the light that you want to paint yourself in, there is a very real God that will walk through this journey with you.